hello guys uh, welcome back again uh, this is Malik Arjun here so in our previous session we uh, seen VL5 and VL6 and VL7 all these three flavors all three three uh, versions of uh, uh, VL installation with all the configuration uh, all the uh, custom partitions and swap space creations and uh, 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 you know prerequisite RPM installations and you know configuring etc host so now we will uh, try to uh, we'll check it out uh, OEL 8 installation and then uh, you know, we'll do the same thing custom partition swap and prerequisites RPMs and then you know configure the ETC hosts so let's uh, start with the uh, OEL 8 installation so I already configured my uh, virtual uh, box here so I'll just launch that virtual box and then uh, it should ask for the uh, boot image file okay so it is uh, you know not asking here so i'm just uh, manually uh, mount that boot image so other ways like you know you, you can go to your settings of oel8 and uh, you can go to this storage and you can add it here uh, you know you can browse that oel8 image so you add your oel8 so this is going to be my oel8 and this is 99 6906 is OEL8 so I just add it and then 996906 I'll just re-verify it software OEL 9906 sorry 996906 this is the one so I'm going to choose that one so I'm just going to remove this one so just click OK and then start the OEL8 now OEL8 node 1 so it is going to boot now I'll maximize this one you can see here so it got a boot screen I'll select this first option install Oracle Linux 8.2 and click enter Okay, starting installer in a moment. Okay, so we got the installation screen and uh, click on uh, continue. Okay, so the time and date it has taken uh, New York time zone and uh, support language is English and uh, Okay, just uh, waiting for this keyboard layout. So automatic uh, partition is selected. So okay, keyboard is uh, came as English default. Okay, installation source is uh, you know leave it as it is, and uh, we'll start with this software selection process. We'll select this server with the GUI mode, and then we will select a couple of packages like uh, performance tools and development tools and the security tools and system tools and click ok and then uh, based upon those packages it will check for the dependent uh, packages as well okay so go with interaction media and then select this custom storage uh, custom partitions and click done and then it will ask you to create the uh, custom partition click on this plus sign and uh, start with the boot and 1000 MB and again click on this plus sign start with the swap around 8000 uh, MB and again click on this plus sign and allocate rest other to root file system click add and mount point if you see here boot is 1000 and root file system is 921 GB and swap is approximately 8 GB so click on done ok accept changes ok so this uh, keyboard is done support language time and date installation source is installation source is a uh, default one 
we will not do anything here and then software selection we did custom partition we did and kdump you no need to worry just click uh, as it is leave that as it is and uh, network and host name so network and host name we no need to set any of this network so first one i'll just enable it for a dhcp configuration and only the host name is very important i will set it to uh, oel8 node 1 dot local domain dot com and apply and click on done and then security policies you just don't need to worry just leave it as it is and then begin with the installation if you see it will configure the storage and now it is formatting sda sda1 sda2 sda3 my root boot and uh, swap partition everything and then uh, you know, it will start with the you know now it is creating the partitions and now after that it will start with the installation so now i will set my root password okay click on done so my oracle user Oh, sorry, user creation or Oracle user creation. I'll uh, take it later once the installation is done. So now storage. Uh, now starting with the package installation. Now it is downloading the package and then it will start with the installation. It will take a few minutes, so we will check it out once the installation is done. So I can see the installation is started now. So it has selected almost uh, like uh, 1,637 RPMs. So out of that 327 RPMs got installed and remaining is uh, still in progress. So again, as I said, it will take a couple of minutes. So once the installation is done, so we'll do the post checks. So the OL8 installation got completed. So we can uh, you know, reboot it, searching for the reboot. We will just click on the reboot and you know, we'll, we will do the uh, reboot. After that, we will install the uh, guest additional CD image. Okay, now it is uh, booting with the kernel. Okay, it is uh, starting now. So we we got the initial setup screen. So we will click on this uh, license information and we'll accept this license agreement and click done. And then user creation will take it later and then we'll click on this finish configuration. And then it will boot now. Okay, you got this welcome screen. Click next, click next skip this one and uh, create a default user malik and click next and uh, give the password and next and then uh, start using this oracle linux server this is the final setup Okay, so we logged in now and this help center, we'll just close this help center menu and then we are uh, you know logged in with Malik uh, user. Now we will try to install this uh, guest additional CD image. So I'm going to devices, insert guest additional CD image. Okay, you can see guest edition CD image is uh, popped up here. I'll just run it. And then it'll ask for the admin credential. Authenticate. Yep, guest edition CD image is installing.
once the installation done we will do the final reboot and then we'll proceed with the uh, you know uh, interface uh, network configuration uh, private public kind internet configuration and then we'll proceed with the uh, installing the prerequisites rpms and then we'll uh, proceed with the etc host configuration file okay so uh, after get cd additional uh, image installation so i'm uh, doing the final reboot so once uh, server comes online so we can easily set our uh, display setting with auto resize or you know whatever the desired uh, display screen we need it based upon the screen resolutions so i'm just starting it now so let's wait for a few minutes it is starting now okay now you can see how to reset guest test page enabled so it means uh, our guest additional cd uh, installation is successful so uh, after uh, i do the final report i got the login screen and then also i got this uh, display setting so i can set it to auto resize guest display or uh, you know i can set it to whatever display settings i want so i think seems good here now so so we did the custom partition creation and we created a swap space and also we installed this guest additionals and we'll uh, start with installing this uh, prerequisites rpms so for that uh, you know we'll try with all these options I'll start with the first RPM. Then I'll start with the second RPM. And then I'll start with the third RPM. Then I'll start with this fourth RPM. This nineteen C RPM. And this Oracle validated. Yeah, we got the 19 CRPMs for this uh, OEL8. We'll install this RPM. Okay, it's installing now. And we'll try this Oracle validated. Okay, it's done. Oracle validated. I'm installing now. And this blind bind RPMs. Oracle validated. It may fail. Yeah, it's failed and then we'll start with this bind RPMs and finally we start with this Oracle support, Oracle ASM support. Bind RPMs or many RPMs, it will take some time. So yeah, you can see bind RPMs 14 MB and it is downloading all these 35 packages. Twenty nine package if you see here summary twenty nine package install and then uh, six package upgrade it downloading all this thirty five packages. Okay, it started installing all those RPMs. Okay, done. So Oracle support ASM. Okay, that's it. So then we'll proceed with this ETC host configuration. So public IP, so OEL 8 node 1, OEL 8 node 2, private IP OEL 8 node 1 private, OEL 8 node 2 private, 
virtual is node 1 VIP, node 2 VIP and scan. So I'm just copying it. VI slash etc hosts. Yep, so everything is copied. Let me save this one. Cat slash etc hosts. Okay, everything looks good. So if I can quickly go back here, uh, we have five installation done, six done, seven installation done, eight installation done. For this eight, we did this custom partition swap, guest traditional CD, and uh, you know prerequisites RPMs and you know etc host. So everything is done here. So we'll start with the creating the users and directories in next sessions. So if I quickly go back to my OEL eight, so OEL eight installation, what we did. We uh, we did well eight node one VM configuration with the three network bridge bridge and net and uh, display we set it V box with A and uh, general section we selected bidirectional for copy and paste option and we created a shared software directory between VM and Windows software and we did uh, VL8 OS installation and the three network we selected as a public private and internet and we created the swap and boot and root partitions and we installed this guest traditional CD and then we did a reboot of the server final reboot and then we installed this prerequisites RPMs and uh, we set our etc host files so I hope uh, this one I have not covered I'll just quickly show you what is my public private and the internet so if I go to my uh, settings and then see one two three I have three interfaces already set and if I select this first one that's a public if you see here 192 1.128 192.168.1.128 and 255.255.255.0 so it's going to be manual and it's a public network and uh, ethernet it is ethernet 2 it is going to be my private if you see here uh, 192.168.2.128 if i can go to ipv4 192.168.2.128 255.255.255.0 and it's a manual so it is going to be my private interface and it is for my internet connection it's going to be my DHCP uh, you know IP address 10.0.4.15 so if I go to IPv4 it is automatic uh, allocation IP allocation DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol so if quickly if you if you want to uh, as I said this is a public I can access uh, this IP address from my uh, host machine if I go to my windows cmd command prompt and then ping this IP I am able to ping this ok so that's it guys for the uh, you know, today's session we will start with the creating users and directories in next session thank you